what's up will here and today i will be showing you how to add a gui onto a part or a block so this would best be used for fan art of the game for example in games like epic mini games and Flickr, they actually have fan art on the walls basically what they do is they get an image that a fan sends them and then they just add it to a part gui so today i'll be showing you how to do that so yeah let's get into the video first things first you're going to want to add a part here we go we have added our part just rescale it how you want obviously if you already have a part you can just ignore this part I'll so yeah we're gonna put this here i recommend having no shadow so yeah i just took that off then here click on the plus then you're gonna want to add a surface gui here in the surface gui add a frame then here on the frame you will not be able to drag it like you can on the gui what you're going to want to do instead is you're just going to want to change it by size and position here. One thing I like to do though is take off border size pixel. So yeah, here when it says size, I'm going to make it cover the whole thing. So I'm going to put one there and one there. I'm going to take it to zero there and zero there. And now it covers this part here. And then first thing first, I will show you how to add a image. So in frame, click plus and an image label I am going to make it so the image label has no border size pixel then we are going to find the size let's make this to the whole screen not whole screen sorry the whole part so 1 comma 0 1 comma 0 we can change the position if we were to make it smaller obviously we can change it but let's be real, you probably want it full screen. So that's how to make it cover the whole thing. One thing I would recommend doing that's probably the easiest if you're not too good with changing it here, for example, like getting it the correct size and position, would just be putting this part, like 0.01 thinness, and then just put it on top of the wall and give it like some sort of picture frame border because that one would be hard to tell and then what we're going to want to do here to actually put an image here is scroll down to where it says image it will say image here just delete that as you can see there is no longer anything there so open up google microsoft edge whatever you're going to use as your browser okay so then go on to create here either click on decals here and click find your image choose file give it a name then upload you'll have to wait for that one by the way or you can come to library click on decals search for one you want and then use it however this one i prefer to use my own images so yeah but let's say we're gonna use this shiny teeth and golden pupil yeah. we are going to copy and paste the link and then we're coming back to Roblox Studio. Click on the image label. Come down to image. Click here. Paste it there. Bam. Covering the whole thing. So let's say we want it to not cover the whole frame. Let's say we want it to be less. Let's make it 0.75. Yeah. Sounds good. 0.75. and 0.75 there we go and then we can move it around in position so that's how to add an image now i will show you how to add text also guys just so you know at the moment i am just adding image labels and text labels if you want to add a button that will work totally fine like maybe if you were to add a limited time deal for a certain car in your game you need to click on this buy now a little block underneath the car or something then a gui comes up um where you can select the car or buy the game pass or something so yeah we're gonna add a text label here you can see a little bit there but what we're gonna want to do is just name it whatever we want so yeah not name it sorry 
change the border size pixel to zero. I was thinking that name meant text, so please forgive me there. Point, I'm gonna make it aerial bold, as I really like aerial bold. I'm going to make it text scaled so you can see it much better and much easier. Then text color, I'm going to make it beautiful red. And then we are going to, you can get a background color if you want, like let's say you want it to have a background color, not everyone does, but maybe a blue background color, we have that there now. Uh, now let's make the size so it fills up the whole thing. Okay, so that fills up the whole thing. And we're gonna add our text. Which says subscribe now. So yeah. Maybe if you wanna have this on top of an image then you just do what I did before with the image but instead of deleting it keep it and just get the text background here where is it background transparency just set that to one so yeah and yeah if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in it in any way then maybe leave a like as that means more people will see this video which then means more people will find out about the video and maybe see it and find it helpful so yeah if it helps you then help some other people out maybe share it with them i don't know but i'm gonna end the video here if you're new to the channel or haven't already then maybe consider subscribe nowing so yeah until next time goodbye guys <laughs>